Hey folks, so a lot of you boys have been pretty stressed out with all the news out there. A whole bunch of men are going down to, to allegations that they're creepy. We got Hollywood Big Shot Harvey Weinstein, that's his official title apparently, Big Shot, accused of rape, sexual assault, and being an asshole. Ben Affleck, aka Batman, who's accused of groping two women and being an asshole. We got Oliver Stone, who's accused of groping a woman at a party and being an asshole. We got another Hollywood director, James Toback, who's been accused of more than 200 cases of sexual harassment and being an asshole. We got nonagenarian George H.W. Bush, who's accused of telling rude jokes and grabbing women at least six times and being an asshole. Then we got Louis C.K., who's admitted that he acted inappropriately with a number of women. That means he wanked it in front of them. And he's an asshole. So some of you have been asking me, man, as a man, what am I supposed to do? How do I avoid the fate of these folks? Seems like every day some new Hollywood big shot or Alabama politician is going down. How can I avoid their fate? Well, folks, I got a two-part plan for you. It's real simple, and I promise if you stick to it, you'll do just fine. Step one, pay attention, kids. This is an important one. Don't be an asshole. Now, I know this sounds pretty straightforward, and frankly, it should. Don't be an asshole, dude. Simplest thing in the world, right? Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. How do I know? Because I see you assholes out there every day. You're wolf whistling at some girl who don't know who you are. Well, now she knows you're an asshole. How do you feel about that, huh? You're copying a feel on a crowded train or a bus just because you can? When you're called out, you say, sorry, accident, sorry, bruh. No, it wasn't, and you know it. You're an asshole. Telling the new lady at the office to spell attic while looking down. That joke wasn't even funny in the sixth grade, assholes. Calling people names behind their back. Fat, bitch, cold especially when they turn you down. So, okay, you say, I am fully prepared to stop being an asshole. But how? Well, I'm glad you asked. The answer, my friends, is step number two of our two-step program. I call it get a fucking clue. I toyed with more sophisticated names, patriarchy, power maps, but in the end, I figured this is really about one thing and one thing only. Know who you are and know who the people around you are. But what does that mean? Know who you are. Well, who are you? If you're watching this, chances are you're a person. Unless you're a cat. Cats, you can ignore this one, okay? So, you're a person, and what are the people around you? That's right, they're also people. And how do people like to be treated? Well, I'll tell you how people don't like to be treated, like things. So before you interact with someone, ask yourself a simple question. If this person were about to say or do to me what I'm about to do to them, how would that make me feel? Would I feel objectified, manipulated, used? If the answer to any of these is yes, chances are what you're thinking of doing is the asshole thing to do. So don't do it! But that, my friends, is but one step on the road to getting a fucking clue. Yeah, because the person that. in the room with you, yes, she's also a person, but that's probably where your similarities end. She may be a woman while you're a man. She may be black while well, you're white. She may be queer while well, you're straight. So step two of getting a clue is this. Imagine what that person goes through on the daily. This is the toughest part of the program by far. But I have faith in you, bro. You can do it, all right? So take a look around. Take a look around you. On the street, in the books you read, in the videos, TV shows, movies you watch, how are women treated? Are they the heroes? Are they supporting characters? Do they have their own desires, or are they the objects of other people's desires? Even when they're depicted as strong women, are they still expected eventually just to fall in love with the guy that's been chasing them through the whole movie? <coughs> Princess Leia. <coughs> or can they be the lead character without a male love interest? Do world leaders treat women as human beings deserving of respect, or do they get caught grabbing? Take your time with this one, Donald. Okay, you're beginning to get it? Here's another angle. What if the person in the room is already in a relationship with you? Could be a work relationship, could be school, could be something else. If it's a work relationship, is she junior or senior to you? If she's a student or if it's a school, is she a teacher like you or is she a student? If she's younger than you or junior to you, how would you treat her? Well, she's junior means she's weaker, right? Weaker means less chance she can fight back, right? So grabby time, right? Wrong! Asshole thing to do! And don't forget the first rule of survival, don't be an asshole. So what's the right approach? 
If someone's in a weaker position to you because of their gender, their race, their class, well, be aware of that. For starters, don't try to manipulate that person just because you might be able to get away with it. Next, next, though the person may be younger or junior in the company, she still has equal rights. Understand that because she's in that position, she might hear your words differently between, because of the power relationship that exists between you. That's real. Power. Now, I know there are a lot of you saying, eh, it's fine, but you know, it, it doesn't apply to me. Wrong. You don't live in a place where men have more power than women? Where are you from? Themyscira? Land of the Amazons? Patriarchy is everywhere, including inside all men. The best we can do is to be aware of it, try to keep it in check, and most importantly, don't be an asshole.